Hello, my name is Micah Siever. I am the Senior Director of Academic Programs here at the School of Hospitality Administration at Boston University. And I'm gonna be taking you on a virtual tour of the School of Hospitality. We were originally founded in 1981 as the Hotel and Food Program of Metropolitan College, which is a different college here at BU. We grew so much um, and expanded over the years that the university eventually made us our own college. And then about 15 years ago, we were very lucky to move into this building. Um, so please come with me as I show you around. Here on the third floor are all of our faculty offices. This is typically referred to as faculty row. There's also some nice quiet study areas in this part of the building as well. You'll notice faculty all have set office hours, but I've found in my experience the faculty are in their office a lot more than just the posted hours. We're the smallest school at BU, so everyone is very approachable. Every professor is going to know who you are. We're all, we are all invested in you, invested in your future. Um, so you'll see them around the building all the time. Up here at the front is our dean's office, as well as a few other administrative offices. But the real exciting part of the third floor is the boardroom. Now the Marriott boardroom is a resource for students to use, for faculty to use. We'll have uh, seminars, symposiums, and all different types of meetings here throughout the academic year. Um, it's one of the best meeting spaces on campus and is open for student groups as well, should it be uh, ever something that uh, uh, they want to use. Other thing I like about the boardroom is we have this plaque here that explains who the Shaw Advisory Board is. Advisory Board is an incredible resource that we have here at the school and what this is is hospitality executives that uh, we bring in once a semester to meet with faculty, meet with students, really give us a lay of the land of the hospitality industry. What are the challenges? What are the type of skills that they are looking for in employees? Uh, we have changed our curriculum a lot over the years in order to match the needs of the industry because we want to make sure that every student who comes out of our program is going to have the skills that are necessary to make an immediate impact on the industry. Down on the second floor of the building is the Marriott Academic Center. So this is where all of your classes would be. We are uh, you know, very lucky that we're able to keep all of our courses here in the building, so you never have to worry about you know, running up and down campus in order to get to your hospitality classes. So there's four classrooms here on the second floor. They're all pretty much the same, but we'll go ahead and pop into one of them. A couple of things that I like about the classrooms. Chairs are all on wheels, and we do this on purpose because it makes it very easy for students to go from lecture style in a class to, okay, everybody get into groups. We do a lot of team projects in the classes, so it's really nice to be able to have the sort of flexibility in seating arrangements um, and everything like that. There is also, as you can see, if you can see that camera up there, there are video conferencing systems installed in all of our classes. And the reason for that is we bring in a ton of industry speakers in pretty much all the classes you have here. Sometimes they'll be physical speakers who actually come in and, and meet the actual class, but more often than not, it's people who are not located in Boston. Hospitality is a global industry, and so we bring in experts from all over the world and we can bring them in via the video conferencing system. And the great thing is there's a camera at the front so the speaker can hear you. There are microphones hanging from the ceiling so you can ask a question from your seat and the speaker will hear you and be able to respond to you in real time. Um, every classroom also has an extra screen installed here. It's a little feature I like. If you're giving a presentation, whatever is on the main screen behind you is also on the screen in front of you. And this is so you never have to turn your back on your audience when you're giving them a presentation. Let's head back out. Okay. 
Also on this floor is the undergraduate student lounge. And this space is going to be renovated during summer 2020, so it'll probably look a lot different the next time you see it. Also on the second floor are two small seminar rooms. You can reserve these for student meetings. Um, whether you're meeting with your team or working on a project. They also have the video conferencing systems installed in them, so should you ever need to use that um, for a project. Coming up, one of my favorite parts of the building, the all-important vending machine. I highly recommend the Animal Crackers. Um, within the next few weeks, we are going to have a really nice coffee machine is going in on this spot here. You'll be able to do uh, regular coffee, but also fancy things like lattes and cappuccinos. We are all very excited for that. Here is the graduate student lounge. This is just for the grad students. Um, and this lounge was renovated in summer of 2019. And what we did is we changed it from more of a traditional relaxed lounge into more of a working space. And this was a request we were getting for students that they wanted to have more spaces that were conducive for team meetings. So you'll see the screens there. You can plug a laptop right into those. They really easily connect. Um, it's a lot more tables. Um, and uh, generally students have been very happy with the additions that we have added. Um, there is also a fridge and a microwave, should you ever want to uh, bring a meal in, um, you know, lunch or really whatever you want. <laughs> right next to the graduate student lounge is our Office of Graduate Affairs. This is my office. Um, I really like being down here on the second floor because I'm right next to all the students. Um, so someone's always here if there's any issues that come up with classrooms or you have really any, any general questions um, or anything I can do to help. One more question, or sorry, one more classroom here at the back. And we'll uh, sneak down the back stairs here. Down here on the first floor, you'll find what is right now really just an empty classroom. This space is also going to be uh, renovated during summer of 2020 into more of a design lab with some high-end computers for students doing um, our hospitality design and a couple of other um, courses. So we're getting some really exciting stuff coming in here um, in the next few months. also have our main auditorium here. Now, let's get some lights on in here. There we go. So you'll never really have too many classes in here. Average class size at Shaw is about 22 students, so we have really nice small classes. The main thing that you would come into the auditorium for would be um, either a company that was coming to campus to do recruitment or a lecture. Every fall, we have the Dean's Distinguished Lecture Series. We bring in a hospitality executive um, every two weeks to come in to meet with students, really to conduct um, a, a networking event, um, really talk about the industry. Uh, we do a little reception afterwards with students. So it's a really great opportunity for everybody here uh, to really get some face time with the industry. This area out here is often used for uh, receptions or social events or networking and career events. Um, we'll move this couch out of the way and it gives us a nice open space uh, to set up tables or whatever we need. These panels will open up so we can often put food down right there. 
last part of the building up here at the front is our Marriott Career Center. What this is, is it's a career center. Uh, there's two people who work here. They just work with our students and just work with the hospitality industry. And they will help you every step of your career path to figure out you know, what you wanna do. They run uh, workshops, everything from cover letters, interview skills, networking skills, resumes, everything you would need to know. There's a giant career fair every semester for the hospitality industry. Um, help you get your job, whatever job you're looking for. Um, we will um, post information on the screens here about the companies that are coming, but you will also get that information on those to your email. There's a small extra little lounge up here at the front, and this is primarily used for interviews. A lot of the companies that will come to campus uh, to recruit will conduct interviews right here on campus. So a lot of times you don't even need to leave the school in order to um, get a job within the industry. See the green line runs right in front of our school, so it's really easy to get around. Also right across the street you will see the Aganis Arena where the BU hockey team and a lot of other sport, team sports play. Also tons of concerts that happen there. And right across from that is the Fitness and Recreation Center. And what this is, is uh, it, it is BU's gym, but it's really more than a gym. There's great workout facilities and a really nice pool, but they also offer a ton of classes that you can take there. So pretty much anything from um, ballroom dance to karate to rock climbing to swimming, um, you can take courses there. And all students can take up to at least two courses a semester you can take for free um, over at the Fit Rec Center. So it's a great resource for our students and it's really nice that it's right across the street from uh, where we are located.